Köszönöm, hogy hivatalos edzőtelárképző, hogy a mai nap három külföldi edző fog nekünk előadásokat, gyakorlati előadásokat tartani, és mindenkit, hogy kérlek szenteni ezt a napot annak, hogyha egy pici dolgot tudunk tartani, nem lesz előttem már neked. Az első két előadást egy olyan kollégák fogja tartani, akit szerintem nem is nagyon kell bemutatni, de mégis, hogyha pár mondatban kell szólnom róla, egy olyan legenda fog nekünk most gyakorlati állást tartani, aki többek között Dražen Petrovics nevedőedzője, részt vett Luka Doncic felnevedésében, jelenleg a FIBA nemzetközi instruktora, a mi nemzetközi olyan edzőnk, aki folyamatosan kontrollálja az akadémia munkáját. Fogadjátok nagy tapsa szeretettel, mert ez tőlem is az. Good morning, coaches. So let's start with basic. But it's very important, especially during the off season, between now, camps, pre season, before we start, but also in season. Because our players of today, they are technically not good enough. Maybe technically still, but individual technically not good enough. And we need to improve them to do these things. I was working with them uh, yesterday evening to prepare them for the clinic. Some of them, they are good. They both can. Some of them, not so good. We need to improve right hand, left hand, and so on. So let's start first. You know what is my first topic in the first hour, so I don't need to repeat, no? okay? It's there. How to teach basketball and basketball skills? This is important. You need to know these six steps how to speak. First, interview the skill by name. Most of you are using now English words, or you are using Hungarian words, or we are using Slovenian so words, so so and so on. But give the name to the skill. Today, of course, passing. But this skill will be specific. We have uh, eight basic passes, and then we have six, six uh, advanced passes. This is first step. You can use the skill by name. Second, demonstrate and explain. We need to demonstrate. And all of us, we are experts and we know how to demonstrate. But if I am not able to demonstrate, because we need to demonstrate the correct way, then we can use assistant coach, we can use one another player to demonstrate. Because kids have to see how this skill is going on. Demonstrate. And explain at the same time. Don't lose time. Be sure. Don't make coaching any when you are preparing this lesson. Third step, initial practice and correction. So they start practicing after that. We can make a short uh, repetition, short number of repetition. But anyway, during the practice, you leave them working more. So you can see mistakes, you can correct, because corrections are very important. Then what will happen? The coaches need to leave and we don't make correction. We need to make correction. After that, the course pass when and why we use this skill. We need to tell them this is individual effort. Before now, it is technique. But now, individual effort. When? When I use this pass? And why I use this pass? This is important. What we teach usually in the beginning when we teach passing, chest pass. But during the game, chest pass is not so often to use. No, because always it's uh, dependent on the So I cannot make a chest pass. So there we need other passes. And then again, when we put this information about 
when why lose this game again is repetition 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 if i understand well wrote in answer he has a coach to learn it he was making so many repetitions was not not a great talent he said that but with this repetition of shooting and reading he was making great progression for this but repetition Maybe we don't put enough repetition during our practices. So this is the fifth step: repetition, repetition, a lot of repetition. And then the last step: incorporate, incorporate skill into life game. And again, repetition. We need to put up to that this in a life game. Today players they abuse a lot people. No, we. We need to explain them where, when, and why you use them, not overuse them. Okay, this is for all skills, passing and coordination. As I mentioned, because now let's go now to the basic passing. There are eight basic passes in English. Chess pass, as I said, rarely we can use, maybe in open court. I'm in the river and I see that somebody is in front and I pass chest back because I'm open. But there it is. Bound pass. Can you use? Bound pass. Clocking. Then we have overhead pass. Overhead pass. Then we have push pass. Push pass. And overhead pass and push pass are the two most used passes in the best of the world. I repeat, overhead pass and push pass. Of the dribble pass, they gave me so fast that we are doing the pass of the dribble. And handoff pass, you know. Now we are working a lot of handoff passes. Instead of handoff, in the beginning we are handoff, that we are stopping and giving the ball to the player. After that, the same way is so-called thick pass. I'm coming, and I think, and he is picking up the ball and going off. And the last basic pass is so-called outlet pass. Outlet pass, what do you mean? I take rebound, and I make outlet pass. One way, another way, and so on. So, already eight basic passes. We will be concentrated today, for we have only one hour, for this topic, on two most used passes. I repeat, this is push pass, push pass, from the shoulder or from the hip, and all the back pass. Okay? So, we will start a little bit, and I will start to do in the same way what I expect. Interview the pass, so let's go guys. Two pass here, two pass on the other side, Yeah. 
and then hold me again in my position. Okay? Stay low, bring the ball in this position, and give a down. And make a short step, only short step, together with the ball, and be. The next step, and be. You will slow the step, and the defense, and we need to work on this. This is technique. Okay, so let's start. And you are all coaches, we are all coaches. Look at them and see if where it is necessary to correct. What about correction? Don't stop anyhow. Only if you didn't explain good enough. Then stop everybody and explain again. But if you notice one player or two players are making a mistake, go with them. Don't lose time. Other players can work on. So, alternate it. Left right. In the beginning, they can do on the left, then after the right, and alternate. And let's go now the second, third step, alternate. Go. So, in this way, you can organize the whole of our team. Also, if you have 11, for example, as we have now, organize the way. Reverse 
Ist die Frage, oder? Wie das Problem? Äh, mit Gaffe. Die Börse. Wenn der in die Kulitur, und wenn dies die Börse tut, ist, dann ist, der lasst das. So, warum ist die Börse die Börse? Doch. Thank you. 
Yes, we are losing a lot. And they are not able to do things as, for example, Rupa Bonjic. He don't have any problem with things. Also, with these strong, stronger players were dependent on him. Because he is so able to understand what things means. <laughs> he can use this. So, stay on the team.
You need to decide if you are 
of things not practiced. Today, for example, we will work on two. From so the easiest and behind the back is the same, but uh, you can see better what happened. Because now we will make a reverse. Reverse speed, rolling speed.
and I will know if they are no. You have another group as well. So you get another group after that. So you can do it also for the third group. Now, change of direction. You are seeing that. You are going left, changing direction, right, and again going on. Starting with one thing only. But now, there will be no telling no. I prefer, but no. No people will over, go to the right side, change direction, and go to the right side. Okay, come on, then. One people changing in front.